I'm the richest, most famous, probably the most glamorous woman in the whole world. I should be happy. My concert tour broke attendance records everywhere I went. I mean, I made so much money, my money has money now. I had sex with everybody I wanted. Well, except Gorbachev, but only because his wife kept trying to come in the bathroom. But the tour's over now and I'm depressed. Nobody knows what it's like to have millions of people screaming for you and undressing you with their eyes and then to be so totally, totally alone. It is devastating. But I've always been alone, really. In second grade, I even wrote a poem about it. It went, the prettiest girl in the mirror is me. But am I still pretty when there's no one to see? Me? I wish upon a lucky star to put a happy face on my pain. Because it hurts to be so pretty and so alone in the rain. And I really haven't changed that much at all. I'm still a frightened little girl lost in a rainstorm. Ow! Get out! You're fired! It's so hard to be me. coming on this tour, the dancers are driving me crazy already. What do you mean you're not coming? Other patients? You're seeing other patients? Hello? With the money I paid you, I thought you were just my therapist. Come on, you said yourself I was borderline. I even wrote a song about it. Okay, fine. Maybe I don't need to see you again. If you read about me on lunch somewhere in Paris, it'll be all your fault, Mr. Man. Oh, God, Benny, I think she just fired her shrink. Let's go. Come on. We gotta rehearse. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We're working. the giant penis. That's it? Uh, well, actually, no. That's, that's the giant rehearsal penis. Um, the real penis is still in the shop. The fellas are working on it. I'm supposed to get excited about this. this it looks like a giant Tootsie Roll. Uh, well, can't we just work with it? I, uh, Andy, Andy, I am trying to make an erotic statement here, and, and I, don't, I, mean, I don't even know how I feel about this. It's not big enough for her. Do you know how almost fired you are, Stinky? Uh, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just work with it for today, huh? I mean, come on, you're a brilliant actress. Use your imagination. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Come on. Since we stopped also, I just want to tell all you kids that the number really has never looked better. And really, it's thanks to Miss Thing right here. Oh. Okay? <laughs> I'll give her one. Going good, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, back to work, everybody. Let's start from the uh, middle of the first verse. Okay, play back. <laughs> the show was a technical nightmare. I try too hard, I do too much. I give too much. As an artist, you want to give the audience what they want, and a giant penis artistically delivered the message. But we had to cut it because technically it wouldn't work. Which reminds me a lot of a certain famous actor I'm dating right now. <laughs> but still, the rehearsal process is the part I love the most, you know? Because it's like everyone becomes a family. I'm the mother, and they're like my children. And okay, sometimes I'm hard on them, but it's for their own good, and I 
on the bus. I mean, they work for me. I sign the checks. You know what I'm saying? All right, come back now. Now. Let's go back to that first combination we're trying. So go. One, two, three, four, Being five, a mother six, isn't seven, always eight. easy. One, Sometimes two, you have to three, kick one of your four, children five, out of the nest. Six, seven, eight. So, uh, yeah, I, I have it. I mean, we don't have to do that one anymore. Andy, I don't care if he rewired your stereo. He sucks. I mean, if you're asking me if the guy can dance, no, he can't. You're absolutely right. He can't dance. Well, well then what is he doing on this tour? Because, Medusa, he has a certain... A certain cha-cha-cha, a certain la-da-da that I've been looking for for a long time on this tour. I don't care. This guy is horrible. Are, are you saying that I have to fire him? Yes. Fire him. Fine, I'll fire him. Ugh. I don't need your attitude, mister. No, I, I know why I was cut from the show. It, there is prejudice in this show. There is prejudice against age, prejudice against body type. There's prejudice against hair, or, or lack of it, I may say. Uh, and mainly, the, the biggest thing, there's, there's just a lot of prejudice against people who just don't dance very well. And, I, you know, I tried to play the game. I, I, I kissed ass. I kissed lots of ass. I kissed ass day and night. I, I licked ass. And then I looked up, and it's the wrong ass. You know, what am I supposed to do? I, it's like, I picked a loser ass. You know, so if, if you're going to kiss ass, Pick an ass that can do something for you because I, I might as well have been kissing the ass of a bum in the street. After a few more good rehearsals like that, we were ready to take our show on the road and we opened in Asia, a foreign country. Then he said a lot of the people don't speak English, but that doesn't matter. My music is the coffee. universal language. Coffee! Wait, 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 what's the problem here? I, I want coffee, she doesn't understand. Get her coffee! Dear Lord, this is the first show of the tour, and um, I want to thank you for getting us safely to the Philippines. 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 And um, I want to thank you for the face and the body that would make this many people want to show up. And I pray that you make me sound as good as I do on my records tonight. And um, I ask that you give my kids, my dancers, the loves of my life, enough temporary brains not to fuck up. <laughs> Amen. Let's kick butt. Yeah. 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 It's probably just people stamping their feet for me. Yeah. Well, the big noise turned out to be a volcano erupting right next to the amphitheater. show slipping and sliding on volcanic ash. I heard that no one left, even though a few people in the back were consumed by molten lava. That's like a real compliment. I know a happy place. Get away from the human race. Happy days and happy nights. In between my creamy thighs. My body's so It's not a season.
Lynn, it hasn't happened for 75 years. Well, somebody must have known. You did a sound check. You should have done a volcano check. A volcano check? Yes. That's what I pay you millions of dollars for. I mean, you should have got, like, um, a geometrist down here or something. Sorry, I guess. I'm sorry, but it'll never happen again, I swear. It's better not. You're so majorly fired. I'm just really, really mad, Benny. Hey, what were the odds? I, I, it'll never happen again, I swear. But I gotta tell you, tonight you were awesome tonight, though. You were. I mean, there was something in the air. Lava? No, no, electricity. No, no, you were devastatingly good tonight. Yeah, see how good I am when I'm sucking up volcanic ash? I was good, wasn't I? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, right, everybody? Awesome, baby. Right, yeah. they love you. They love you. <laughs> this is hairspray. You're fired. Get out. <laughs> she hurt me, Daddy. Oh, she hurt. She hurt me bad. It'll be all right. Do you know her first single, like a video, was so brilliant because MTV was new, she was new, the song promoted the it was it was perfect, she was brilliant. I need a diet soda! Now! Please, I'm dying! She has called the shots ever since. She dangles the beta and they, and they bought her, cook, line, and stinker. I mean, she, MTV is Medusa TV. And they know it too, don't you, MTV? <laughs> can be pretty lonely. So I decided to call my aging actor boyfriend, Wallace Blatty, and ask him to join me. Malibu? What? Operator, I can't hear you. Malibu! America! Operator, I still can't hear you! This phone doesn't work! Benny! Benny! Nothing works in this country! I can't hear anything! Oh. Wallace? Hi! Want to come to Manila? No, there's no volcano here. That was the Philippines. What? Manila's in the Philippines? Benny, we're still in the Philippines! You said we left! I hate you! No, no, I miss you. Why don't you come here? Come on, I need you a 
all they eat is dog here and I'm a vegetarian. Okay, fine, if you won't come here, well then I'm just gonna have sex with somebody and it'll be all your fault. Hey, cameraman, what's your name? Uh, Billy. Billy? Billy, um, why don't you come with me for a minute? Uh, right this way. Okay. Sure have big feet for a cameraman, Billy. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Uh, um, why don't you put your camera down? Uh, I, uh, don't think I'm supposed to do that. Okay. Uh, what, what are you doing, Miss Medusa? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh my God, that's it. Oh, mama, oh yeah, oh, bring it home. Oh, bingo! My tour had just started and I was so depressed I wanted to skip Japan and go right back to the United States. But Benny said we couldn't because we'd sold like $25 million in tickets. And you know, that's more than some people make in a whole year. Um, dear Lord, please help Donkey to remember to handcuff me to the bed during the chorus and not during the verse. Thank you. And give my dancers the strength to knock them dead tonight and the courage to accept a pay cut because the yen conversion rate's really bad right now and the wisdom not to go running to a lawyer about it. Amen. Good show, everybody. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm so broke. I, I don't it. believe this. Do you know that when we first started working together years ago, I asked her, what is it that you really want to do? And she said to me, shock, shock, shock. Hmm? Okay? Which is, of course, exactly what we did do. Uh, for instance, in the video, I'm keeping the money. She insisted uh, that we actually rob a real mini mart. You know, and she got an awful lot of flack for that. And, and frankly, I, I, I don't know why, because we gave all the cash back. <laughs> As president of Mothers Against Medusa, Cleveland chapter, I am outraged that our community would allow the performance of a slut and a harlot who encourages, A, our young people to wear their underwear on the outside, which we now know can lead to yeast infections, and B, gives the thumbs up to rob convenience stores, all because Medusa says it's okay. Well, you know what? It's not okay. I remember it distinctly. We had the whole stage made up like a big convenience store. I remember Stinky was dressed as one of these real pow pow shoot 'em up bandito types. And so here you have Medusa, and she's wearing one of these crazy baboobies, I think they're called. <laughs> And she's dancing around. I came up with something right on the spot there. And she's dancing around. She's singing, I'll keep the money, I'll keep the money, honey. <laughs> and she's pulling the cash out of the cash register. And she's kind of rubbing it seductively, a la Bob Fosse, all around her. Just kind of like that. Da, 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 two, three. Da, da, two, three. And then all the other dancers come running on the stage. And they're all dressed like cops. And so Medusa, she grabs them by their nightsticks. She brings them out and she forces them all to do the old two-step with them. So they're all doing the one, two, fuzzy, and the two, four. <coughs> oh, jeez. It seemed like forever, but finally we were back in the United States. Starting the tour overseas had been Benny's idea. And I think, looking back, I would have to say that it was the hardest, most depressing, soul-destroying three days of my life. Every good mother knows that it's important to spend quality time with your children. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, um, Stinky, I double dare you to... Kiss Taffy. Oh, finally. Ooh. Kiss a girl? Ooh. Come on, come on. Do it with me. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, I feel so manly, like Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Medusa, it's your turn. I double dare you to 
Show us how you get oral with a guy with this banana. <laughs> this is kid stuff. <laughs> this is more like it. Oh, no, Mr. Oh, my God. Work with oh, Made me a star. <laughs> you know, one of the great things about being a celebrity is that you end up meeting a lot of other celebrities, even ones you don't want to. Sarah, excuse me, Sarah. China Phillips is here. Uh, her 15 minutes are over. No, no, she just, you know, there she is. She's so, so blonde and so thin. She's I mean, so she makes me nuts. What is she doing here? She's just consumed with her own fabulousness. She is. She is just schmoozing her way through my party. A flavor of the month. Excuse mind. me. Excuse me. This, this is Bobo Kaufman. Oh. So. Hi. I'm a, I'm a film director. I did Blood and Pasta in the afternoon. And, oh, well, what'd um, you do in the morning? <laughs> Great, great. No, I, actually, I won the jury prize at Cannes with that film. So, oh, oh, with, um, with, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Just, uh, no, Justine Bateman, actually. What's the difference? But, uh, <laughs> see, I would have thought that, too, initially. But then uh -huh. after I worked with Justine, doors opened, something happened in her acting. Suddenly, I guess it's, it's there. It's literally with Beyond nuances. satisfaction, I guess, is what you're saying. <laughs> she, Whoa. A, she became a great actress, and I think I can do the same with you. Really? I want you to look at my latest script. It's an update uh, of, the, of Heidi, the old film Heidi. Like Shirley Temple Heidi? Yes, but this has nothing to do with Shirley Temple. Uh, Heidi has grown up. Uh -huh. uh, she's a Nazi skinhead now. She's a full-grown woman dealing uh, with her sexuality and her disillusionment with the with the, with the Hitler Youth Movement. It, it's, it, it, Wait, do, this says do the rich thing? No, do, do the right thing. Sorry. <laughs> little piece of carrot. <laughs> yeah, but, okay, uh, well... I, I think you'll like it. I, I, I'm seeing it. You know, really? only you could bring out the sexuality and the character and do the cathartic uh, goat dances. Th she that's dances such with a part goats in this? Yes. Like and she dances with wolves like mm -hmm, that? Mm -hmm. It's a lot that's like that. Neat. Read it in yeah. the script. It's a weird, a weird film. Okay, it's a, I will. David Lynch read this film and said, Bobo, I feel like a kid working with finger paints when I read your stuff. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> I will read so this. It's weird, because your nice. stuff up till now has just been so shitty. You know, it's just these crappy movies. Wait a minute. That, uh, no, but, but I'm saying you're so much better than the things in the film. Well, yeah. You're the yeah, best I thing usually in the film. am. You're so much better. You're that's so much better many. than that. And you need, all you need is somebody to bring it out. That's all I'm saying. Film, visual, Medusa visual. What could be more natural? You know, she's she's got this native canniness. Things that I went to film school for 10 years to know, she knows intuitively. She'll tell me, Bobo, it's this way. And I'll say, what do you mean? I went to film school for... T and it is that way, you know? It's infuriating. I love her and I hate her. Do you think I'm fat? Eulemia is over. It's 80s. It's, it's finished. Yeah, I know that. I'm not into that. It's just that I feel... Is that Kathy Lee Gifford? Where? Would, would someone call security? Medusa. Get her out of here. Wayne Martindale. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Great show. <laughs> Wonderful. You are one sexy babe. Duh. <laughs> Listen, I'm uh, going to be in town over the weekend for the Celebrity Bowlers Convention. And later this evening, I'm going to have a little private party at my uh, motel. And I'd love to have you stop by. Well, I, I'm kind of beat, you know. You'll have show. a good time. It'll be great. <sighs> I've got a big prize in my Cracker Jacks. Think about it. Give oh. it some thought. Oh. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Winky. Wink Martindale wants to do me in a Motel 7. <laughs> Mel Gibson? Um, okay. Uh, Marlon Brando? 300 pounds ago. Okay, uh, Bobcat Goldthwaite. Goldthwaite? Uh-huh. That guy? No, definitely not. Yeah, but, he, but he's outside waiting. I don't care, no way. Hey, Medusa, how you doing? <laughs> Bobcat, hi! Hi! I just wanted to tell you that I thought your show was excellent! Oh, thank you! Yeah, you know, especially that part with the remote control. Do you know what? I do that myself at home. Uh, really? Yeah, I really do! Well, I take that as a compliment. Well, uh, I don't know what to say. I just wanted to tell you that I thought your show was really neat. Neat? Yeah. 
Um, I'll get out of your hair. I'm sure you got a lot of Medusa things to do. Yeah. Neat. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. I saw you. You were like, uh, like you were gonna puke when I said neat. I generally meant that. I, oh, I just have a problem with my uvula. Uvula? Don't talk dirty. You know, that kind of trashy talk may work when you're up on stage and when you're in your flashy magazines, but I'm a family man. You, I didn't need to come here tonight. I could have went to monster trucks, you know, had front row seats. Thank God you came. She was all over me. And kiss goodbye to the morning I don't sun. care what anyone we says. My ex-boyfriend, Shane Pencil, is oh, the best actor in the Brat Pack. I made him come on the tour to coach me because I was going to star in Romeo and Juliet on Broadway as soon as the tour was over. Environed with all these hideous fears and madly play with my forefather's joints and pluck the mangled Tybalt from what his What are you doing? I'm acting it out. I'm, I'm playing with their joints and I'm plucking. That's not what it's about. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, actor man, what is it about? Juliet is devastated by her family's rejection, okay? She's at an emotional crossroads. She's committed to the idea of perfect love, yet stultified by her abject fear of death. So don't pluck my eyebrows? No! This is Shakespeare. Just read the text and let the emotions come through you. Okay. What if this mixture do not work at all? Come, Vile. Why are you grabbing your crotch? Because you said to let the emotions come through me. Besides, you know, you gotta throw in something for the fans. You're not trying to be sexy. Romeo is dead. Hey, if he's dead, I need to be extra sexy because I'm gonna need a new boyfriend, right? No! You're still in love with Romeo! If he's dead, it's over. You can't doodle with a dead noodle. <laughs> Forget it. I no. am out of here. Don't go, don't go. Come on, suck my toes in my documentary. No one's ever done that. Come on, come on, do it. Oh, there he goes, actor man. Off on another acting adventure. Do, do, do. He'll be back. That's what Shakespeare looks like? He's a balding geek with a bad perm. Ew, I'm not doing this. And then we came to the hardest part of the tour, going to my hometown, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You know, they say you can never go home again, which isn't true, because there I was, in Milwaukee, beer capital of the world. There's my grammar school, Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow. I called it, Our Lady Will Pet Your Squirrel. <laughs> There's the phone booth where I lost my virginity. Memories of the phone booths on my block. <laughs> There's the donut shop where I used to work. I only got the job because the owner wanted to boff me. He used to stick a donut on his finger and wink at me. He was so twisted. Too many crawlers. Excuse me. I have to take a nap before the show. And my family's supposed to show up, but, but don't let them back here. Just um, keep them out there by the vending machines, OK? It's always hard to see my family, especially my brother-in-law, Dick. Hey, you guys, I'm sorry. How long have you been here? Two hours. Oh, you know, I just must have overslept. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, I guess it's really hard to roll around in your underwear. It takes it out of you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. I saw your titties in a magazine. <laughs> have some more dip, Grandma. Been good, though. <laughs> kind of skinny, though. You guys are all so fat. I mean, hasn't anyone in Milwaukee ever heard of uh, dietetic? You know, there's more to eat than just beer and cheese. We like beer and cheese. Yeah. There they go. Well, in California, you could qualify for handicapped parking. Hey, guess what? I've been doing Weight Watchers and taking singing lessons. Sure, sure. <laughs> you gotta see this. Please don't you tell me this. <clears throat> One, two, three. Hey, everybody! I know. A happy place, <coughs> place to get away from the human race. Uh oh. Everything was going great, and I was really glad because it's so hard to play your hometown. As I was dancing, I kept thinking about all the people in high school who'd put me down and called me a slut. Well, maybe I was a slut, but 
Now I'm the richest slut in the world. <laughs> but, you know, maybe being nervous made me really good because I was never better. Then, during Exposure Self, I came so close to the face of death that I could smell his breath. Well, you know what I mean. Come on, girls. Do you want to be a vixen? Well, I'm going to tell you how, and you do it like this. If you want to get some attention, dress your body just like mine. Dare to go bad, just wear your underwear, you'll get a ride home every time. You don't need no silicone or a fancy push-up. I'm sorry. He's sorry. Everybody's sorry, right? Sorry. Everybody's sorry. Oh, no one is sorrier sorry. than me. Oh, but honey, I gotta tell you, tonight you hit a level of perfection that I am telling you, you were awesome tonight. I I'm still in shock. That makes two of us. Are you saying I do my best work when I'm being electrocuted? Oh, no, I heard people saying it was great. They thought it was the best part of the oh, show. I was blown away. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Maybe I should keep it in the show. It was a genius moment. But a lot less voltage. Oh, much less. Can you do that? Sure. Sure. Even my armpit hairs are burnt. Oh. Oh, oh, fish. You stupid Now idiot. it's my favorite moment in the show. Once again, life gave me lemons, and I made lemonade. But for some reason, almost dying made me think about death. And then I thought about the member of my family that died that I loved so much. My dog, Buster. And you can't make lemonade out of a dead dog, no matter how hard you try. I hadn't been to the Paws and Claws Pet Cemetery in so long, I didn't really remember where Buster was buried. When I think of all the friends I ever had The only
but not forgotten. I love you, Buster. Wait a minute. This isn't my dog. My dog's name was Boomer. You, a friend to the end. You were the one we always had fun, my special friend. I love you, Boomer. I'll never forget you. Looks like now. What's the problem, officer? I'm sorry, sir, but we've got reports that her show has nudity and lewd behavior. Oh. Well, there's really nothing lewd. I mean, what do you mean lewd? I think you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't, I don't. Uh, Medusa's America's sweetheart. I, what is this? Well, I have it on very good authority that, that she exposes her... her... Her what? Her muffin. Medusa, we have a little bit of a problem outside. What? The local police are outside. Now, you're going to believe this? They're outside saying that they're going to close the show down because of lewd content. What? Yes, they're, they're concerned. They're concerned that, you know, you're going to show your, you know, your... Uh, what? Your muffin. <laughs> My muffin? Yeah, that's what they say. Hey, everybody. They're going to arrest me if I show my muffin. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, this is Ooh. Can't you just, like, Sell wear some it. underwear for the back flip part? No, Benny, forget it. Forget Come it. On. No, I am not compromising my artistic integrity. No. Medusa. Call me Mrs. Birdseye. The show is frozen. Yeah. It's serious. This is serious. You know, they could and will arrest you. Seat the cops front row center. <gasps> no, really? Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Miss Medusa. You know, once I got out there, I was a little nervous. I thought, what if they really do arrest me? And would jail really be as bad as it is in all those Linda Blair movies? And then I thought, hey, this is America, where freedom of expression is the first commandment of the Bill of Rights. So I threw caution to the wind and went muffins up. Life can be so strange when you're all.
Sheridan, Mary Hart Chuck Woolery, are as vague as they can be. Brooke Shields, Dauber Pam, personality of spam. Christy Brinkley, Brosnan Pierce, bland and boring, something fierce. Wilson Phillips, love to sing and wreck the cover of a magazine. Daniel Quayle's brain is gone. Debbie Gibson gives good yawn. Kelly LeBrock thinks she's great. She's just cold burgers on a paper plate. Why they're famous, we don't know, but Paula Abdul's gotta go. Ladies with no point of view. Fellas who don't have a clue. If they're stars, then you can do it. Just be vague, there's nothing to it. Vague, vague, vague. night, my muffin got a standing ovation. To me, that was a sign that I should take a stand for artists everywhere, and it gave me the courage to face whatever horrors awaited me in prison. Come on and everybody be excited. All right, let's go. Arrest me. No, wait, Benny, get a photographer. Get a photographer. Dude, that was one of the best shows that I have ever seen. You know, I've seen Charo in Vegas once. She can't touch you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Okay, arrest me. We can't arrest you, ma'am. Why not? Well, an artist of your caliber? Besides, I didn't see nothing offensive, did you? I didn't see nothing I wouldn't want to see again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we get a couple of pictures of you, Miss Medusa? Huh? <laughs> yeah. The last stop of the tour was New York. And it was the best show anybody had ever seen and all that, but I was depressed because it was over. I'm going to miss you so much. Will you call me? Goodbye, Stinky. Goodbye, Medusa. I love you. It's not goodbye, Stinky. You'll always be right here. Oh, oh, oh you guys. Oh, bye, bye. 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 Stop. Stop. I need a climax. Can't you wait till you're finished editing? No, for the it needs a climax, you know? It doesn't peak. It just lays there like a... Board hooker? Yes! Yeah! Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh <clears throat> Medusa, it's Stinky on your personal line. Who? You know. You'll always be right here. Stinky. Oh, oh. Tell him I'm not here. And Myrna, get that number changed. <coughs> and don't, don't buy your cereal anymore. It's too chunky. Okay, I won't. See, if I'd have gotten arrested, it would have been great, but I didn't, you know? It, it needs, like, like, something original. Original is good. Go with original. Yeah, well, original ideas are hard to think of, you know? Why do I always have to think of them? What original ideas? Copying Marilyn Monroe. Um, grabbing my crotch. Oh, and copying Marilyn Monroe again. Grabbing your crotch harder and more often. See? Original ideas are hard. You could always marry another psycho actor and finish with a big wedding scene. That is perfect. Let's get married again. I want to be best man. <gasps> That's brilliant. We could wear tuxedos. I saw these great ones in the village. They were leather with, like, their butt cut out. I'm not getting married to give you an ending for your movie. Why not? It's brilliant. You are out of your mind. Hey, come on! I did that stupid movie you talked me into, Tokyo Trauma, which made everyone think I couldn't act. You owe me. No! You're fired! You can't fire me! I'm your ex-boyfriend. Hey, this is a rockumentary. It's not even a real movie. Oh, oh, your movies are brilliant, and mine are just refried crap on toast. There he goes, actor man, big dramatic exit. Oh! Hey, what is it? What's the matter? Oh, uh, quit. Uh, Doctor? No, a camera crew. This is the ending I need to my movie. Oh. Let's take a break of surgery. We're going to have to operate immediately. Film everything. You can't film an operation. Why not? They're going to cut you open. They're going to shave your muffin. I want it all. This is fabulous. My kids love you. Where's the jerk right Stella, where's the pulse? Where's the jerk right here? Let's have that sleeping gas. Shane, Sarah, we're here, honey. We're all here. I will not work.
work with Judd Nelson. His nostrils upstage me. As I started to go under the antiseptic, I realized how much I wanted to live. I thought of all the things I haven't done yet. I haven't done a good movie. I haven't made out with Jimmy Smith's yet. Well, I don't think I have. And well, I guess I have done everything else. Right then, I made a deal with God. I said, Lord, don't let me die, even though I know it'd be a killer ending for this movie. And if you give me more time, I'll give a lot more money to the church. Besides, my account says I need more deductions. And then, everything went black. I see a a little plastic dinosaur that came free in a box of cereal. Needless to say, Myrna was fired to death. But I could have died. You know, they could have had, like, a blackout during surgery or an earthquake. Life is fragile. And it made me have to admit that I was human. It made me realize what's important. We only have a certain amount of time on this planet, and we have to make the most of it. To make the most of your friends, to make the most money, and sell the most records. I guess I already did know that, but it made me think about it a lot more. I won! <laughs> Here, Medusa, open mine now. Thank you, Dunky. How am I? You're fine. It's normal. See, everybody? I'm normal. It's official. <laughs> there is nothing normal about you, Miss Thang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Since you like mine so much, I got you a pair. <laughs> Look, panties. Shane, crotchless panties. <laughs> you know I can't fuck for a week. Oh, oh, no. Did you match? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. You know, when I was knocked out, I had the weirdest dream, I swear to God. I was in Kansas with my aunt and uncle, and I was wearing this horrible little pinafore, you know? Ooh. And this tornado was coming to get me. Ooh. Yeah, wow. yeah, and... and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. Hey, that's just like the Wizard of Oz. Her dreams aren't even original. Hey, okay, come on, everybody, let's get on the bed and say goodnight. Okay, okay. Come on, Shane, you too, get your butt over here. Come on, Shane. Oh, there he goes, actor man. Boring. Off on another acting adventure. Do do do. Actor man. Up up away. Here we go. Okay, everybody. Wave goodnight. Wave goodnight. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay. Lights out. Let's take a nap. Okay, we're gonna take a nap. Okay, we're asleep now. We're all asleep, just like the three little bears. Okay. But I'm gonna pray. Be quiet, Steve. Okay. Oh. Now I lay me down to sleep. Oh. I pray my tits they're shaped to keep. You better hope so, honey. <laughs> and if my new record's not a smash, then all the critics can kiss my bank account. Oh, no bottles! No bottles! <laughs> <laughs>